Welcome! In front of me I have the brand new Google Pixel 6a and today I want to show you a couple of tweaks, tricks you can do on this phone. So to get started, I'm going to begin with uh, kind of like two different ones uh, packed into, I guess, one same one packed into two different uh, applications. So, um, number one would be when you open up the voice memo or the recorder, you have the option to record your audio or your voice and then automatically transcribe it, which you will see in a second by going to transcribing. And as you can see, it perfectly transcribes what I just said and also it's recorded. So you can save this and it will save it both, the audio and the transcriptions of it. So that's one way of going about it. Get rid of it. Now, another way would have been using. Where was it? I did find it just a second ago, but get kind of lost in here. Let's try to look for it. Nope, not what I was looking for. Hmm. Can't seem to find it. I literally just used it, but I can't remember how I actually got to it. Now, one thing that I kind of find a problem here with is that some of the options here are in a way hidden and you need to search for them, but they're not like easily accessible. For instance, another thing that I wanted to show you is the now playing function, which if you go into the settings, you have to enable it. You can search for music as an example, uh, which gives me a history right here. But you can see we have now playing, settings services, which either I am stupid or this doesn't appear here. There is no settings in settings and there's no services in the settings. So, okay, makes it a little bit difficult, but you can search for it and it shows up. So we can go in here and then we can enable it. Now, I have already enabled it before, but the first time you enable it, it tells you that you need to wait a moment for it to download basically the database of songs or maybe connect to it. It says that it just downloaded it, but whatever, whichever way you do need to wait a moment for it to finish up. And just to kind of show you how this works, I'm going to lock the device because it does show up on a lock screen. So when you tap on it, come on, you will hear, oh, you, not here, but you will see the uh, current playing song right here and it will switch wherever you are. You can always whip out your phone. You don't need to open up Spotify or anything like that. It will just automatically find it. So now I'm going to play from my phone uh, some no copyright sounds. Uh, you can see it right here. And you can see that right now it has detected the song, shows you it right over here. Now, obviously, if you start playing a different song, it will switch automatically. But it's a really nice uh, touch, just so you always can access the song, know what the song is playing without needing to do any extra steps. It's just like visible right here, or was visible when the music was playing. So probably one of the most, one of the things that will abuse the most here. Now, anyway, Moving on to the next option, it's going to be specifically for photos. It is the magic eraser. So I did capture a photo beforehand for this. So let me go into the photos and I did test it out myself before. So don't back up. So I'm going to remove this one because this is kind of what I got. So now once you have your photo taken, it's just a key cap, whatever. You then need to navigate into edit. From here, select tools and then magic eraser. I'm going to zoom in just so I can so I can get closer look at it and I'm just going to erase it.
Bam, it's gone. So let's click done, save copy, and there it is. Now, to be honest, it uh, does a really good job at it, but not perfect. So in this case, where we have like this grainy uh, texture to it, you can see this blurriness around it, where the, where the arrow was. Now, it is obviously visible when you zoom in really close, and unnaturally close, but when it's at, for instance, this distance, you can maybe a little bit see it, but obviously at a further distance, it just completely vanishes, like, it looks like the keycap was completely blank. Now, they do advertise it, or showed like advertisements with uh, just removing complete people and stuff like that. I haven't tested it out that far, but you can go wild at it. You might need to try a couple times uh, to get like better results, but obviously it works really well on its own. And the more simple things you want to remove from the picture, the easier it will be and probably the better result. Obviously the more complex and more messy the photo is, uh, the harder it actually might be. So there we go. And another thing that I wanted to show is going to be the uh, blocking of camera and audio. Now, previously on different phones, because that is accessible in a way on different phones, you could have gone into the developer options and just there was like a option specifically designed for it. It had some wonky name to it and it would require you to basically toggle it on and off whenever you actually wanted to utilize it. But here we have it done a little bit better. So pull down your notifications. Now for me, the toggle was visible right over here and you can see the mic and camera and you can turn it off. I'm just gonna turn off the camera just because that is what I will be also turning on just so you can see how that works. So when you try to open up camera, uh, unblock device camera. So right now the phone has no access to the actual camera module itself. And it gives you this pop-up to unlock it right now. So we can do that and it will start working. Obviously it will become checked again right here. And on obvious note, you can also toggle it on yourself from the notifications before you tap on a camera, but this actually allows you to do it quicker. Now before what I was saying with the developer options, when you would disable the things like camera, uh, you would literally need to go back here and toggle it back on yourself and the camera itself wouldn't be able to function, it would just crash and it would not give you any kind of pop-up like it did right here. So this is a bit of a step up. So there we go. And I think I just remembered another thing which I was talking about. So there we go. <laughs> That's where it was the uh, live uh, transcription. So this actually won't be added by default. So all you would do is tap on this pencil right here and it was somewhere between the turned off toggle. So you needed to grab it, drag it over to the top and then you can access it. Now we also have a couple additional things, uh, live captions as an example. So when you play some YouTube video, it will give you captions for it. Now, previously on other phones, it did give a notification that using live captions did consume a little bit more battery and this phone doesn't have the best battery life already. So you might want to consider this, this is something that you really need. If not, probably don't enable it. So apart from that, we have a couple additional uh, toggles that might be interesting, like uh, extra dim, probably for like in-bed uh, browsing, uh, sound amplifier. But let's actually go back to this. So live transcription. And again, it will start listening to what you're saying and automatically, oh, that's my test. <laughs> So yeah, it automatically starts transcribing what you're saying. At, you have the option to select a different language. So you can transcribe basically every language. Now, I could switch. Zawsze mogę zmienić na polski i gadać w innym języku, żeby zobaczyć jak to dobrze działa. So there we go. Uh, I can now see that it did transcribe into different language as well. And it did, it did it really well, to be honest, using all of the wonky Polish lettering. Uh, so yeah, it works pretty good. Now, right now when you're using a different language, 
a wrong one uh, to what you're speaking. Obviously, you can see that it is trying to tra transcribe into Polish and completely failing at it. So, yeah. But still, so, uh, most of the functions, features in this phone are kind of hidden. So when you can find them, uh, I do urge you to explore them. Pixel, at least this one, um, compared to like normal Androids, has a lot of neat features that you can utilize throughout without needing to do much work. As an example, one of those would be, that I found interesting, if you have something like an incoming call or maybe your alarm starts ringing, you can say pick up or stop for alarm clock and you don't need to pick up the phone, you don't need to touch it. You can just voice command it and it will do what you're saying, which is really neat. And there's a lot of other things like that in this phone, which set it apart from just a typical Android. So anyway, with this being said, this would conclude the tweaks, tricks, whatever you want to call it, that I wanted to show you. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.